Next thing I've got to do with my photograph is I've got to measure uh, my length and width of my photograph. Now, you don't always have to draw it to scale. Um, sometimes they will ask you to draw the sketch to scale. Usually they don't. However, I think it's best practice to draw it to scale. It prevents you getting confused between your map and your photograph. So I'm going to measure the, the bottom of my map and see it's coming in at about 27 and a half. So I'm going to round that up to 28 centimeters. So I'm going to say 28 centimeters divided by two, 14 centimeters. Okay. So I'm going to draw my grid, my box. 14 centimeters wide and down the side you can see it's coming in there at about 18 centimeters so i'm going to say 18 divided by 2 that leaves me with 9 centimeters okay hello everyone and welcome to our video where we're going to revise the sketching of an aerial photograph i'm using the mccroom map from 2017 and i'm going to First of all, make sure that my photograph is orientated correctly. So this map is obviously in landscape, not portrait. Um, so that's important with this photograph. Now I'm going to maybe highlight a couple of the things that, are going, that I'm going to include in my sketch. So first thing I'm going to highlight is my river. Okay, so that's the first thing that I'm going to include in the sketch of my photograph. And you can see the river runs all the way along here. Okay, um, next thing that I'm going to include is, let's see if we can get a few shapes. So next thing we're going to include is our uh, playing pitch. So I'm going to insert a few sheets to highlight those. Here's my playing pitch. I'm going to include my bridge over the river. I'm going to include a car park, this one down here. And I'm going to include a church. So these are the things that I'm going to include in my sketch of this photograph. Next thing I've got to do is I've got to divide my photograph into sections. And the reason I divide my photograph into sections is it makes it much easier for me to uh, draw um, the relevant features that I want to include. So next up, I'm going to divide my photograph into nine different grids, nine different sections. And this will help me to draw these features a lot more accurately on my sketch. So I'm going to zoom out my photo here for a second and I'm going to divide it into nine rough sections. Now, ideally, you would use your ruler to find these sections nice and even. This time, I'm going to go from side to side, making sure that I have nine clear sections. This time, I'm going to go from side to side, making sure that I have nine clear sections. So these sections will help me to draw my sketch a lot more accurately. So I know that if I want to draw my church, uh, it must be in this section right here, okay? Because I'm going to divide my sketch into the exact same sections, okay? I know if I want to dr draw my playing pitch, it's got to be in four of these sections. I know if I want to draw my bridge, it's got to be in this one. And I know if I want to draw my car park, it's got to be in this bottom middle section here. So that's me with my map or with my photograph prepared. Uh, and now I'm going to get ready to sketch it. So next up, we're going to draw our grid with our pencil. So it's 14 wide and it's 9 high, making sure that it's nice and straight and that the lines are, are connecting neatly. 
So we'll be max going for presentation. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my title. Cream sketch. Okay, so there's the title of my my sketch. Okay. So next up, I want to measure my map and I want to roughly draw, draw it into nine different sections. Okay, just as I did with my actual photo. Okay, so 14 divided by three, you're looking about three and a half or three. 10, so give or take. Okay, I'm gonna draw these lines lightly because I don't need them standing out there at the end. And then I have nine down the sides, so that's trees, three, six. So I have my photograph and I have my sketch divided into sections. That way uh, I know or I'll be able to draw my, my features more accurately. Okay, so the first one we're probably going to put in, in is our river. So our river starts off down here. And it leaves a photograph in the top section. And the river here will always be in double lines. Okay, so a river in a sketch of a photograph, and indeed the same with our roads, is always a double line. Wire up, whatever it is, pencil crayon, just sketch it in, make sure to label it. I would always, always draw my sketch in pencil, that way if I make a mistake, I don't have to start from the entire beginning again. Uh, next up I have is my bridge, bridge over the river. Okay, and again, I'm going to label it. Next up, I'm going to go with my playing pitch. My playing pitch was in four of the different sections. Really important when you're drawing something like a building or a car park or playing pitch that you draw the rough outline. Okay, so this is our pitch. Next up, we're going to have a go at the car park. So the car park is down here in this middle section. So again, I'm drawing the rough shape, the rough outline of it. It doesn't have to be exactly accurate, but you know, it does need to be the rough outline, the rough shape of the feature that I'm trying to draw. And the last one that we're going to put in is our church, and our church is over here. So again, got to draw a rough shape or a rough outline of the building. Label it. Okay, and that's all you need to include on a sketch of a aerial photograph, an aerial photograph. Um, that you'd be asked to, to complete in your leaving your junior search.